Alright dudes, welcome back to another video. Today we're actually not working on this truck. We're going to be working on my brother's truck. You saw in the intro that we were bringing this home on a trailer. And there's kind of a long story behind that. Christian wanted to replace the torque converter and put a trans cooler in the truck because we were having transmission issues. And he tore the truck all the way apart at a friend's house and the torque converter is wrong. And the new one's not going to be here till at least the end of the week. So we decided to just bring the truck here. The reason the torque converter is taking so long is because they actually have to make each one as they're ordered. It's not like it's just lying on the shelf. So that has overnight shipping on it. So as soon as that's done, it'll be on its way here. But since the truck's back at the house now, Christian's working on getting the transmission cooler all mounted. He's just propping it up right now. <laughs> this is a CBR single cooler. What do you have to say about this whole whole process the last two weeks? It's been a pain in the ass, but I'm glad that this is actually getting done. So. This should look good. We aren't in a driveway, so it's not gonna be as easy getting the trans in and out, but out but here. It's way better because where the truck was before, I couldn't mount the cooler. I didn't have any fabrication tools. So doing this here is gonna be easier, but harder at the same time to get the converter back in. But getting this mounted is gonna be cake. So I'm glad that we're able to do this right now. Yeah, fabrication side, definitely easier here, but actually getting the trans in and out is gonna be a little bit harder here. Um, the plan was originally just to drive the truck back without having the transmission cooler mounted and it was gonna be done here anyways. But now that everything's here, Christian's just gonna start with that right now because we don't have the torque converter. Yep. So what's your plan with getting, like mounting this at a certain angle or how are you deciding where to position it? Uh, I got the spare back in the truck. I had this out. We just got this back in. Got the cooler just kind of sitting up here, roughly where it's gonna be. I know the two lines, I have two 90 degree fittings on here, so I know both of those have to go down through the, the bed. We have to drill holes in the bed, so I want those to be on the inside of the frame rail. So I'm just kind of trying to get everything where it needs to be and then trying to figure out a perfect way to mount it. Um, I have some little tabs that are going to make it a lot easier to mount this thing, so I mean, it should be pretty easy. I don't think there's going to be very much time in this right here so here's those little tabs christian's talking about we've used these a couple times on this truck uh, mounting the oil cooler and the transmission cooler on this um, and as you can see it's literally just a little tab and it has a nut cert already in it um, these are on amazon christian says they're called trick tabs so if you're wondering where to get those it's on amazon quick little update we got the trans cooler out of the truck right now our buddy sean's over here helping us and obviously christian's here um, we're making these mounts for the trans cooler itself. We're just making a kind of cage for it and we're gonna tab off that to actually mount it in the bed. But right now, Christian's just TIG welding all these tabs onto some tubes and we're gonna go from there. It's day two for the video, day 20 on the build. Uh, Christian got, <laughs> making funny. Christian got this all welded up and he's making a piece right now to tab off of and that's actually gonna get mounted to the bed bolt in the bed of the truck. So yeah, that's gonna be one of the mounting points for the actual cooler itself. Where else are you gonna mount to? Uh, the bed itself. So this will be here on one side and then on this side I'm gonna have a half inch bolt that goes through the bed itself. So. It'll have two points. This cooler doesn't weigh too much, so I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. And we're doing them on kind of the corners like that because when you're going through the dirt, there's a whole bunch of different forces kind of acting on this. And if you just did it both at the bottom and the tops, kind of there's no support there, so it's wiggling. And you don't want that, so we're just going on opposite ends to try and get the most support possible out of just two mounting points. On a side note, we just hit a thousand subscribers. That's been a big goal of Christian and I's. Originally, we weren't even planning on hitting that until New Year's, and that was kind of high hopes. We didn't even think we were gonna hit it by then, but we hit it two weeks before New Year's. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for getting us to this point. I just wanna say thank you to you guys for watching and commenting on all the videos. I would go through all the comments and read all of them and try to respond to as many as possible. 
If you guys have any questions, just comment down below or any tips or suggestions. I look at everything, so that's one place to contact us. You can also DM Krishna or I, and that's another place to contact us. But again, just thank you for getting us there. Also a big thank you to the company supporting us, one being CarTech, also LineX San Diego and Down South Motorsports. Thank you guys for getting the build to this point and helping us out. Also a big thank you to everybody around me that's been supporting us. Obviously my brother, cause he's part of the videos, but my parents, my family, my friends, thank you everybody for getting the channel at this point or supporting me, I appreciate it a lot. But with that, let's just get back to the video and get this trans cooler mounted. <laughs> So dudes, those last couple clips that you just saw was actually from a few days ago. We've been waiting on the torque converter for the truck, but it's coming today. Um, but before I get talking about that, let's go over what we just got done. So here's the trans cooler in the truck. Um, I kind of just want to talk about the trans cooler mount. Christian made like a cage, a square little cage to go around the back side of this. And then off of that, he put some tabs um, to mount the actual trans cooler to the trans cooler mount. And then from there, he made some tabs onto the bed right here. And then there's another one down there going to where an existing bed bolt was. So that's kind of how that's mounted in there. And then the lines are ran off that through the bed and then they run under the cab and then to the trans itself. Um, so that's that. Christian was also wiring as you saw in those clips. Um, he just got it all cleaned up. And so the wiring for the trans cooler itself is actually done right now. We still need to make a mount for the actual trans gauge and the switch itself, but that's not gonna be done until after this weekend because we're trying to get this thing to the desert for New Year's, which we're supposed to be leaving tomorrow, so we don't really have time to make a mount. So those are just gonna stay like that, just zip tied in. We'll probably zip tie the switch up somewhere, but in terms of the gauge, that's probably where it's gonna sit for now until we can make something more permanent. So that's kind of where we're at in terms of getting things together. As I was talking about, the torque converter is actually coming today shipped yesterday and we got it overnighted so that's coming um the trans is actually bolted up to the motor right now i did say it was all apart but when we moved it on the trailer it had to get bolted back up so there's two or three bolts holding the trans to the motor right now and then the trans cross member is just chilling in there so that has to get taken out so we can move the trans back and then put the new converter in once it gets here after that we got all the rest of the truck to put back together like the drive shaft the exhaust just small things tidying things up um we'll probably double check everything that we did, make sure all the lines are secured and check for leaks, stuff like that. But for now, we're gonna be pulling that trans back and getting the converter in. Well, something came in the mail today. Just got uh, the new torque converter for the truck. Here's the original right here. We already sent back the, the first one that we've got. Um, everything's looking to be good on this one. All the bolts match up and everything's the same size. Um, we're waiting for our buddy Mason. He's been a huge help in getting this truck ready. His house was actually the house that this thing was staying at for a little bit. So thank you, Mason. He's also towing the bikes out this weekend for the desert trip. So thank you again. But right now we're waiting on him, just getting a few things ready. And then once he's here, that converter's gonna go in. Move your hand. So that's one click, two clicks. Yeah? I don't know. No, two clicks. That's it right there. For sure. Yep, that's it. <laughs> it went in so... <laughs> Okay. 
A little bit more? A little bit more? Okay, right there. Spin, rotate it. Yep. Okay, push it in. We Where need to start it and get it running. Let it pump back. Good morning guys. Yesterday we got that torque converter in, um, drove it around for a little bit and just filled the fluids as we needed. Um, we're going to check it again later today on our way out to the desert because we are going to Superstition today. But to get the truck ready we just need to put the exhaust on now. Everything else is pretty much wrapped up. You pumped on the new cooler or what? Yeah, yeah. Yeah buddy. So just the exhaust on this thing for today and you should be all buttoned up. Exhaust is all in. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. We got that torque converter in. We got the transmission cooler all mounted and all plumbed. And so now the truck's actually going to do good in the dirt. The trans is getting way hot in this thing before. So I'm excited to see how it works. We're heading out to Superstition right now to film our New Year's video. So with that, we'll see you in the next video. And go check out the New Year's video.